second part of my trip. Hello, this is Ren. Welcome to my channel. Just a quick introduction because I don't have a video, a, a video uh, introduction for my for my second part. Ignore my mess. I'm messy because I. It's just a lazy day. It's raining outside, and so I'm just want to get this edited and released as soon as possible, so you don't, so you don't uh, miss another week without an upload. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this is pretty much it. And so yeah, welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, I would like to share about the things that I like to collect and the things that I love with people who love them as well because I don't have that many people who uh, like the things that I like in my life so <laughs> I'm skipping to YouTube I guess to show people the things that I like uh, and yeah so this is my Japan trip and this is the second part so enjoy <laughs> okay so my hotel was really close to Asakusa and so I just took a video I didn't go inside because there were too many people <laughs> But I live nearby, so I just can go there anytime. And of, of course, if you're in Japan, the first thing I do is go to Akihabara. And the first thing that I do in Akihabara is go straight to the AKB48 theater. So when you go inside, uh, when you go all the way up to the X floor where the uh, theater is, you're going to see all the CD covers on your way up. And it says AKB on the escalators all the way up through Don Quixote. Brudu, my favorite. Well, she's graduated now, but she used to be my favorite. Now, welcome to the AKB48 theater. This is uh, this was on a theater day, so there was a show happening right now inside, and this is uh, it's actually quite small. I'm surprised a lot of people fit in there. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as you come in, you see the posters and the locker rooms. And this is just for the fans coming in. Uh, you see all the CDs and everything. And in this area right here is where they do the the cancellation lottery. So like if you someone cancels and you're in standby, you wait there and they call a number. And this is the entrance and you'll see the the uh, teams and the picture frames and then the ticket uh, booth is right next to it. Uh, and on the floor it says like 48 and we have a 48 and right there that's, that's the ticket booth and there is a really famous picture of um, Tomochin in there as well that I love and then you go in and you see the theater and yeah this is inside the theater and you see the show is happening right now inside the theater uh, yeah I wish I was in there there were so many people who applied for it so there is not no way of getting in <laughs> Uh, and that's that's where you leave your messages to your favorite uh, member and this is the cutouts that they had at that time which is the XR thing and uh, there of course is my ba my my baby my child she's that Dora my daughter my one and only daughter <laughs> uh, Eddie and then uh, just one floor under that there is the maid cafe at home cafe i, I went to maid maid dream maid dream i think maid dream or maid dream one of the two but it has a name before and i also wanted to try but i had a horrible experience with them so i just stuck with uh, at home cafe which i had a best experience with so yeah, I went there and I had my, my membership uh, level up, so they gave me a new card and I have my, of course you have to have a, a fried rice, omelette rice, omu rice, I think they call it, and, uh, and the cake. It was really cute, but it tasted different. <laughs> it tasted fine, it wasn't the best thing that I ever ate. And of course, I had to take a video of the streets of Akihabara, and there were so many people, and there was so much Genshin Impact advertisement outside. <laughs> you see that right there is a Genshin, and then if you see a little bit lower, there's another Genshin poster, and right there is another Genshin poster, and there is another Genshin poster. <laughs> Genshin Impact, that was like the biggest thing. 
I'm guessing that now they don't have the new the new game advertisement. Uh, but Genshin was the whole thing back then. Anyway, so then I went to the Pokemon Center in Nihonbashi, I think. And there is where the Pokemon Cafe is. It's pretty cool. I like the I like the this is my favorite um uh, statue that they have in the centers. And it's really cute. And Pokemon Cafe, of course, you do reservation, and then, and then you go inside. There was a lot of people in the morning. You can see there they have the the place where you line up out. But when I arrived, they didn't have that many people, so it was okay for me. <laughs> but there was still a lot of people inside anyway. And they sold out a lot of, sold out of many things. And then after that, I went to a Meyoko. Just a quick look. There is nothing interesting in there. It's just... It's literally just uh, a marketplace. That's all they have. It's right next to Ueno. <laughs> uh, I'm yawning. And yeah, of course, Akihabara, Takeshita Street. I went in there, but I did not want to go in there. Look, how many people there are inside? <laughs> and then uh, Kure Sushi. Of course, if you go to Japan, you have to go to Kure Sushi for your sushi needs. It's very nice. Uh, really nice atmosphere and the food was actually quite good um, I wouldn't recommend to buy anything other than than sushi because I ordered a fried fish and the fried fish was like hot outside but it was frozen inside <laughs> it was it was really cold uh, but yeah there is the Kura sushi and I had to do the I was lucky to get a booth uh, it was really full so I had to take a number and wait um, but yeah I got my first piece of sushi and because they were like you can just get any sushi you want I kept on ordering and ordering and ordering <laughs> even though I was still full but the food was so good that I just kept on eating uh, it was really delicious and like I'll definitely go back and it was cheap I only spent like $20 uh, and yeah and every 5 I think 5 or 10 pulls uh, 5 or 10 uh, plates you do the the gacha so because I'm just one person I didn't get I only had two tries uh, but I lost both of the tries so this is my first try um, okay, I lost two ducklings and yeah I lost see I lost have no luck I think this is the collaboration they had with uh, Detective Conan uh so yeah it was really nice good food uh see look looking at this right now it's making me so hungry especially because i haven't eaten anything yet and i haven't had sushi in since then this last time i had sushi was then <laughs> well actually i went back but then and i didn't film it but that that was the last time i had sushi I had, I had, and that was in april now it's what june uh, I want sushi so bad. Watching this, I really want sushi. Don't you feel like sushi? <laughs> I'm so hungry now. I haven't eaten anything today. I just woke up. So, yeah. I also the trains in Japan are so quiet. Like, you cannot hear anyone speaking or anything. Even when it's like a packed train, only the only thing you can hear is the announcers. And then the next day, I went to Pokemon Center for the Pokemon Cafe. <laughs> I choked on my own on my own saliva. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, then Pokemon Cafe and Pokemon merch, and they sold out of, of many of the plushies. So I only got like one of the plushies, the meows. Uh, but it's really cute. It's a really nice experience. The food is incredibly cute as well. The atmosphere is cute. You have Pikachu everywhere. And everything was themed to the latest game, of course, so they have to sell the latest game. Because last time I went, it was the... <sighs> I'm joining. Anyway, last time I went was the other game that they were, they were promoting, the uh, Sword and Shield. And now it's the Violet and Scarlet game. Um, I, lo I love the atmosphere, it's really cute, it's really nice. Um, and yeah, the, the food in there is really, really cute. Look at it. Look at the food. It's just so on theme, you know. And they have the same, the same, they have the same menu throughout the year since they opened. But they do have a, every now and then they have a special menu 
for like the you know, the new game or the new whatever they are promoting and it's really nice it's really really cute however i got to admit that the food also it looks really really cute the food is not the best it's fine it's it's eatable <laughs> you can eat it no problem it's just not like amazing food you know like no like, it's not like the best thing you're gonna eat your whole life you're literally just going there for the atmosphere and for the uh cuteness of the food you know uh, yeah the food was fine and that's my melon soda every time i go to japan i always get melon soda because they don't sell it in australia i don't know why but melon soda is not something that they sell anywhere and there is pikachu pikachu came out to say hi so yeah you can see he's going to say hi to everyone hello hello After that, they had a little segment where they started dancing and they had the Pikachu dance to the music and everyone was clapping of course <sighs> Because it's raining, I'm yawning a lot Because it's also really cold, it hasn't been cold in a while um, Anyway, so yeah, Pikachu came out, he was dancing, it was really cute He was dancing for like, what, 5 minutes, 10 minutes he had to go in one area and then after that area he went to the other area and it was really cute yeah uh, this time i got this pikachu the chef pikachu but depends on what time you go and when you go they have a, a shiny pikachu or they have a waiter pikachu or they, have, they have pikachus in different outfits and i think lately they do the pikachu in the chinese um, chinese uh, chef uh, outfit I don't know if it's a Chinese chef or Chinese uh, uh, um, waiter, but it's a Chinese theme, Chinese food theme, uh, Pikachu. Uh, but they also sometimes uh, they have Eevee instead of Pikachu, like a long time ago when I went there they had Eevee. Uh, I think they have another Pokemon as well, but I'm not too sure. But I know that for sure they have Pikachu and Eevee because I've seen them both. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. He dances. <laughs> And then I got my dessert, if just the sponge cake with uh, some cream and fruits and uh, honey, I think, or some kind of syrup. It was quite good. Um, nothing out of this world, of course, because it's just... It, it, no, no, no matter which uh, kind of theme cafe you go to, this always the food is going to be like looking amazing, but tasting fine. And it rarely, it's rarely bad, it's just fine. I heard that the uh, other other one, the Kirby one, is really good, and this is of course I have to go to Likachan, uh, Likachan small shop. Uh, they, they were they sell exclusive Likachan dolls, and it was like really like it was like 15 minutes away from the Pokemon Center. And yeah, I made a whole video about it, so you can see it in my other my other video about it. Anyway, so then after that, the next day I think I went to Sanrio Puro Land. It was really cheap. It was like I think. Thirty dollars to go inside, and it's really cute inside. You see it, just uh, it's a real pro land. And then I don't know. I came, I got my ticket. I went in, and they told me that I had to sign up for something else if I was a foreigner. So like all foreigners had to like get out and do go online and do some kind of like ticket reservation. But I already had my ticket. I don't know. I just did it. I didn't say anything about it. I just did it. I didn't put on a coding anyway. And it's really cute, 
is on theme like the theming of this theme park is like like on point like everything is like really themed to it and when i got right hello kitty and pom pom pudding were doing a show it was really cute and obviously hello kitty sings <laughs> so she was uh, she sings throughout the whole show and every show she sings uh, yeah it was really cute uh, I had a lot of fun and I stayed there for like a few hours, only like 4 hours maybe uh, because right afterwards I had a ticket for, a time ticket for uh, the aquarium uh, in Ginza in Japan everything has to have a ticket, time, lottery, uh, waiting and reservation, it's all that uh, something I, didn't want, I really wanted to see was the Kabuki show, um, I was lucky to see it but I couldn't record inside so I didn't do it and then I, when I was, in, in, was looking for things to do, I saw a line in a theater that was about to go inside. So I just I lined up and went in without knowing where it was. And it was just a, a show for this new character. I think she's the newest character that they made. I'm not a fan. I literally just got it, got it not, knowing, not knowing where it was. <laughs> uh, but it was a cute show anyway, so... But I don't know anything about her. I don't. I don't know. I don't know any anything about her. So I don't know the the merch or anything. So I just they just sat down and watch, and it was okay. After that, they had the special uh, show that they do twice a day, and this was the first show. Um, it was actually really fun. I saw it. Uh, but the you see it in person is way way nicer than when I saw it then you can see in the video right now it looks really really cool and because it's like all in the theme park and nothing is outside there is no sun and then like all the dark and the dark areas and the light and the lasers and the smoke and everything looks really, really cool like it really does immerse you into the 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 theme you know and yeah it's pretty cool and hello kitty was like hanging from the ceiling and dear daniel was on the tree i think he pops up so is he there uh, no no he's popping up later but yeah he he is dear daniel is my favorite he's pretty cute you know me if you see my videos you know me like i love ken because he's like he deserves better than barbie uh, and in this in this uh, scenario, dear Daniel is also like like Ken, but the difference between Ken and and dear Daniel is that at least Ken gets merch, you know, <laughs> and his own stuff apart from Barbie. Even so, like most of his stuff is like just an accessory to Barbie. But dear Daniel doesn't. He literally only shows up when Hello Kitty shows up because he's the accessory for Hello Kitty. But he rarely has a. Uh, uh, any merch he doesn't he's not part of like he's not like a separate character like cinnamon roll or pop pop pudding he's just the secondary character for hello kitty so he doesn't have like like his own merch like apart from hello kitty so if you ever buy dear daniel merch you can only find it in puro land so i got two plushies for two dear daniel plushies they were on sale too because people didn't buy it <laughs> so i feel really bad for him so i of course i love him i love him. he's really cute too i love his little fluff on the head on his head so yeah he was there and i was very happy to see him and then hello kitty was hanging from the ceiling and she was obviously singing and and come and and everyone showed up on the balconies like every balcony around the, the whole theme park and all the characters came out and the characters that were in there were on the screen and they were saying that oh they were they were remote remote um, remote uh, showing I don't know how, how to say but they were they were in the internet so they were online so that's how they 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 joined the park and the, and the theme was of like clashing like, uh, online and real life so that's why some characters were online and characters were in person so if you see the screen right there there are some characters in there uh, and there are also characters on the balconies 
And that's Cinema Row. Cinema Row is my favorite. Dear Daniel and Cinema Row, both, both of them are my favorite. Uh, but yeah, it was a really nice show. I really loved it. It was a lot of fun. Getting out of it, it was a nightmare, of course, as usual, <laughs> but it was pretty cute. The whole theme it was amazing. It's like you were in their world, you know? Uh, all the creations was pretty cool. And yeah, it probably was a lot of people. And then outside, the train station was all Hello Kitty theme. <laughs> Inside, even the train was Hello Kitty. But everything, everything was Hello Kitty. All the signs that you see, all the even the announcement was Hello Kitty. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. It was, and all the advertisement was Hello Kitty as well, and the maps was from Hello Kitty. Everything was Hello Kitty. Even the 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 smoking area was Hello Kitty theme. <laughs> it was really cute. And then after that, I went to the famous Ginza Aquarium because it looked really beautiful in pictures and in TikTok. And you know what? never believe what they tell you on TikTok but well, not everything like some stuff like some stuff like later you're gonna see something that I did that was really cool and the best thing they did ever but this thing was like uh, that's it like literally all you see is everything there is there is it's in the it's inside a shopping mall uh, and it's one of the one of the floors on the shopping mall and it's not even the full floor it's like a third of the shopping malls, a third of that floor is the aquarium. And from that third, a half of that third is the, the merch um, shop. So like, not, not even it's like a fifth or something from the whole floor is just the aquarium. And it's literally all you see now is all there is. That's it. Nothing interesting. It's just like a nice place to take pictures in. And even if you take pictures, it's like you have to wait for people. You have to wait online for peop for people to take their picture first. Uh, and that's it. But it's a really nice view. But yeah, that's it. I only spent like an hour there. And I, I went around the place for like four times. Just to like to get my mom money's worth, you know. Uh, also, some people said that it's not a good place for fishes because the fishes aren't kept like in the proper habitat, uh, which I kind of understand. I kind of like I always avoid um, going to any animal, anything, cafe or, or exhibition or whatever in anywhere, because most of most most of them they're not they're all mistreated, so like. I went to a cat cafe once and that was fine because like the cats were actually kept kept um, well like clean and everything they would look well look after but in some places it's like no you better just don't go don't go to any any cafe see the animal themed cafes that they are 
did they have or anything. I don't know anything about the fishes in here. Maybe they were treated well. It just looks like it doesn't. But maybe maybe they were poorly treated. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't go back. I definitely won't go back. I, it's a thing that you go once and you never go again. No. But it was definitely a really beautiful place to be. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't go back. Don't go. If you have the time to go, don't go. Uh, if you really want, if you really definitely want to go to the that to take pictures and stuff like that, you can go. You can just uh, pre-order the tickets online. It's like twenty dollars. It's not like it's not, not that expensive. Um, but don't go. I just don't go. I tell you not to go. It's not worth it. There is nothing interesting. Like that's it. Like you see, I keep on showing over and over again what the same thing because that's all there was. <laughs> And something that TikTok told me to do was to go to this rest restaurant. I don't remember the name of this restaurant, so right now you'll see the name on the screen. Uh, but it's a really, really nice restaurant. It's like to give you the food like like blue, and then you cook it to the how how well cooked do you want it to to be. Uh, and it's like the best thing that I ever had. And you can get a free refill of rice once. I think you can also get miso soup refill, but I don't like miso soup, so I didn't. But it's like the best food that I ever had. I went there twice. Um, then after that, I went to the Tokyo Sky Tree. No, yeah, Tokyo Sky Tree. And this is the tallest uh, uh, place you can look, go to. Because uh, I. I always I was always curious to go in, so I went and it looks pretty really beautiful. Luckily, there wasn't any uh, clouds, like big clouds. You can see the mist, but that's it, no clouds. So you can see the whole of Tokyo, and it looks amazing at night, really, really beautiful. And I have a Galaxy S22 Ultra, so I I took the advantage to use the zoom. You know, like the one they orbitize all the time, which I never use because they have no use for it. Um, so I tried to use it this time, and it's actually like it works. It's really cool. You can see everything like from far away. Yeah, and they always have these little windows that you can stand on, so it looks like you're standing on air. And that's it. That's it. That's it for my trip. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll post the next part next week. <laughs> uh, can you see my face? I don't know. It's really messy. It's not. It's not the best angle, but anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you'd like to. Uh, and then next week I'll show you the next part of my trip. Uh, I don't remember what I did. <laughs> so as uh, so. We are both going through, I'm showing you and I'm remembering the things that I did because like as soon as I, I arrived to Australia, I forgot everything. I'm going to be honest. Um, but yeah, I want to go back so bad. Anyway, so thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>